Sorry for not doing this yesterday. I was busy. A bunch of recording was lost so all that happened was I fought the doomsday beast. You're awake. I had Marge and Dan Hung stay by the express to keep an eye on things. Keeping an eye on things is so boring. March, don't do it. Don't do what? You know what I mean. No, I don't. March 7th. It's almost time. She should be arriving any moment now. Wow. I've only been gone, what, a few months? And the space station is already in this state? Welcome back, Herda. This is the true master of the space station. Genius Society number 83, Herda. At least give me a proper introduction. Genius Society number 83? Of all my outstanding achievements, that's what you want to mention? All right, laugh it up. That old Xandar came up with a name. You think I'd like it? So, this little twerp has the Stellaron now? Huh. Hmm. I'll have to take a good look. Hmm. Truly amazing! I built a whole space station just to contain this unactivated Stellaron and keep the blue from disaster. Yet someone was able to achieve that with this little twerp's body? How did they do it? Magic. Moreover, the Stellaron is still very stable in his body. <gasps> You're right! This little one's body truly is strange. <laughs> Compared to me, you are. How old are you even? Don't judge a book by its cover, Herda. Case in point, that puppet body of yours is actually much smaller than him. That's beside the point. Hey, is this one the same kind as that March 7? If that were true... Can I bring him in for some research? That's not up to me to decide. You can ask him yourself. You, of course. Your body contains a Stellaron, which in some sense is no different than storing a bomb. Who knows what might happen? Maybe it'll blow you to bits someday. You should be grateful that this genius is willing to help you out. I still have some interest now, but once that's gone, I'm not studying you even if you beg me. I'm very interested now. So there's almost nothing I won't accommodate. A Stellaron in your body? How interesting is that? Be grateful that I'm offering to help you out. This is a service even the IPC can't buy. You understand now? Herda wants you to stay in her space station. Well, I'm going to have to modify your wording here. This little twerp can only stay temporarily until the research is done. Or, maybe I'll lose interest halfway through and they can just beat it. And after that? <laughs> Not my problem. <sighs> you also have another option. The Astral Express. If you want, you can leave with us. The Express has its fair share of experiences with Stellarons. The thing you're worried about and the answers we're looking for are one and the same. Besides... We can come back any time to let her to conduct her research. She's absolutely fascinated now. Hmm. Well, works for me. Keeps this subject fresh, too. And that way, I won't need to keep worrying about this little twerp all the time. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, give it some good thought. Just remember to come back often. Make an appointment in advance with Asta or Arlen so I can make time to study you. There's no need to rush into this, Herda. Asta's in the master control zone. Let's let him have a talk with Asta first and decide for himself. I'll be waiting for you on the platform. It's no hurry if you still have things to do or someone to see. 
Come find me when you've made your decision. I keep losing footage but I finished the simulated universe quest. I have an Adelian one hurt now. Let me know in the comments some good teams. <laughs> hey, um, it's me. I got your number without asking. Are you still at the space station? The station is launching a program called Project Revival. If you have time, I'd like to ask for some help. Uh-oh, my phone's credits for this month are running out. This is the last message. Come, I'll be waiting. There's inspiration in every glance and every breeze. Arlen, head of security, reporting to. Oh, it's you, Cinnamon. Sorry, I didn't recognize you at first. I was just thinking about ways to improve the security department's emergency response training. After all, this is also an important part of Project Revival. If the Legion dares to attack us again, I don't want to make things easier for them. Well, Project Revival is a set of post-disaster operational protocols that Lady Asta and the heads of the live departments collaboratively developed using data gathered about the damage sustained by the space station. 